Hello, this is Raina at Lilo Crafts coming on today as part of Hashtag Embellish With Us Wednesdays. And that is an open collaboration that is hosted by Gigi School Creations and Marianne's Craft Corners, two amazing crafters and fun ladies. And I will put a link to their channel in the description box below. And what it is, is a challenge to use your stash. So the items that you have had sitting around and um, not buy anything and then create embellishments with it. And so it's really, really, I'm having so much fun participating in it. And uh, what I did was I made flower embellishments this time and I followed Hazel's uh, tutorial that she has up on her channel and I will put a link to uh, her channel and the tutorial in the description below as well. So um, the items that I used today to create my flowers were um, first of all this uh, paper pad that I don't even know how long I've had in my stash is from Hobby Lobby and it has all kinds of like muted like peachy pinks and floral in it. I utilized scallop punches. I could not believe based on Hazel's tutorial that all you needed was one scallop punch and that you could create these flowers. Now I made two different sizes and I used my third one like as the base but you really only need one scallop punch to make this happen um, and um, you need some glue. Now I recommend wet glue because it allows you to move the paste paper pieces around. It gives you a little bit of time time so that they can be really uh, nice and squirt off. Um, I use, you need a pair of scissors. And then also for decorating, I use some tool, uh, which you don't need. I'm gonna show you some with tool and without tool, but I use both my silver and then this uh, pink tool over here, and then a couple of jemmies. So um, let's go ahead and jump on into the fly. Okay, so the first one I made is this, and isn't it neat that you can have two-tone um, paper with just one sheet of paper, and it is a dimensional flower the way that you fold it. Um, so I love the dimension on it. And if you look in the back, um, it's six pieces that um, you uh, glue together to make the flower. And this is just the base to hold it together. Um, and I, this time I used gold leaves and I just used a jemmy in the middle. So isn't that so sweet, this sweet flower? I just wanted to see, um, wanted you to see what it would look like if you didn't put too much um, embellishments on it. So the next one, I just, kept plain and you could use double-sided paper for this too if you wanted two patterns that would be pretty as well um, but I just used single-sided paper and for this one I just used a plain tool circle and then I added um, three little bling jemmies um, in the middle and then next I kind of combine the two ideas so I used the leaves uh, that I have here and then um, I used a tool um, over the top and then just one larger jemmy in it um, and then um, I made a tool bow so on this one I just I didn't put tool all around it but just a tool bow and I put a little jemmy in the middle there um, and then this one has the tool bow and then also um, a, a excuse me tool over the whole thing but a jemmy and then um, this one right here what I did was I made a tool rosette so you can see it's actually more dimensional and it has more tool than these ones that are more flat like this is a flat one and then this is one that um that has more tool on it and i just accented it with that gem so these are the small ones and then i made um some larger ones so this is one that has a tool bow in the middle and a sweet jemmy um on that and then um this one is just flat tool and it has a sweet little um, jemmy. And um, these little, uh, the little leaves and the um, these little flower gems that I have in the middle, I hauled off AliExpress, um, I don't know, many months ago. And so, um, so here's another one. And then um, this one is one that has the tool bow and then that kind of jemmy in the larger size. And then um, this one, oh, and I used silver tool on these three right here. So these have silver tool, silver tool bow. And then this, these two, I use the pale pink 
um, uh, tool. So the pale pink tool for the bow and then the pale pink tool for the gem. So that is my share for today for my hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. And if you give me a thumbs up, if you like the content, that really helps and is really appreciated. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.